Yeah, well, if you have ever turned to Google to ask why am I so tired, and especially if you did so in June of this year, you would have been part of a global peak in people asking the internet for help when dealing with their exhaustion. Now, people are also trying to understand better sleeping positions, bedtime routines, and whether gray noise is better than green noise to go to sleep. Now, hotels are definitely taking notice of this, and they're launching sleep tourism packages, which are invitations to come to try to get your sleep back on track. Now, we published a story this morning on CNBC.com that looked into six different packages being offered by places around the world. And some of them, it's about all the things that they bring to you when you stay. But for others, it's about what they take away. So take, for example, London Zedwell Hotels. It has these rooms that it calls cocoons, and they are very basic, very simple. And they lack distractions. That's the word that they use for things like televisions, phones, even windows. Now, the hotel started with one location in Piccadilly Circus. And uh, I do say, I, I do want to say, though, I had a look at some of the reviews, and it's a little too Spartan for some. So definitely you want to know what you're getting into before uh, making a booking there. But for something a little bit closer to home, you can have the six senses. Uh, the locations in the Maldives, India, Cambodia, Vietnam, and Thailand have sleep programs where you uh, can get things like sleep tracking done, wellness screenings, meditation sessions, and nutritional advice. But if you're visiting the, sleep, the city that never sleeps, you can book a sleep suite in the Park Hyatt, New York, which has smart beds from a company called Bright. Now, these beds can be adjusted for firmness to softness on e either side of the bed, but that's just the beginning. You can also track your sleep with them, and they have a mechanism when you're going to bed where you can synchronize audio with gentle movement to lull you to sleep. When you, when you wake up in the morning, we'll throw out the alarm clock because gentle movement again starts to wake you silently. Uh, now, I asked the hotel, are people booking these suites? You know, can can the concept of sleep sell? And the hotel said, well, really, the proof is in the amount of people that show up at checkout and ask about where they can buy these beds. And you certainly can. They retail for about $6,300. Ooh, and we are all sleep deprived these days. So it, it, let's, it, let's be, be clear about this. It, 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 these are not holidays that where you just go and you just sleep and you just veg out. It's the quality of sleep, isn't it? It's not doing a Rip Van Winkle. That's exactly right. It's, it's a holiday it's in the traditional sense, most of these at least, but they provide all these other things to help you. Sleep books, sleep you know, diffusers, essential oils, um, certain spa services that will help you uh, to relax, really relax the mind. Interestingly, there's some data out from the National University of Singapore earlier this month that said that Asia may be the most sleep deprived of all. They looked at people wearing aura rings like this, which can track your sleep and also fitness, and uh, they looked at 20 22,000 users around the world showing that people are getting the, the, the worst sleep in Asia in terms of duration and also quality of sleep. And they specifically looked at the weekends. They said this could be cultural because in Asia, they said people are not catching up on their sleep on the weekends. They're using that time to catch up on things that they didn't get done during the week or to tend to family matters. Okay.